Hey guys, it's Brick here and today's video is going to be a how I edit my YouTube thumbnails. So I hope you guys are ready for this. So the first thing that I do is I go into iMovie and I click on the video that I took and then I usually pose in that video so that I can get a screenshot of me posing. Once I find the right spot, I press Command Shift 4, which is a screenshot on a MacBook or a computer from Apple, and you just drag and, you know, get the right size for your thumbnail. Then I go to PicMonkey.com, I will link down below if you guys don't know what it is. You could go to Computer, and then you go to the screenshot you just took, which is on Desktop, because screenshots go straight to Desktop. And then I go to um, exposure and I fix the brightness. Today I was feeling about five on the exposure or on the brightness. Sometimes I feel different and like it depends on the photo and the lighting and the quality and all of that. So if you guys are trying to figure out which um, things you should do, just make sure it looks good to you. Then I go to color and I do the saturation. I used to do like 13, but today I think I did like four or five. And then I don't really do anything else on this page. And then I go into touch up and I do the airbrush on a little, like my little spots or if I'm red, I just put it over those. The next thing that I do is I go into wrinkle remover and I make it like a, as big as it can be and I blur the background. This is actually really good to blur the background so a little tip for you guys, um, use the wrinkle remover to blur your background. Um, there's not much of like a background here but it would look cooler if you had a different background. My, I did this for one of my friend's videos and it looked a lot cooler. Then you gotta press apply to like all the stuff that you do. But the next thing that I go into is I go to text because this is where you put like um, all the words on the page. I mean, <laughs> self-explanatory, but you know, I'm just going to explain it anyways. <laughs> but I go to my fonts. My fonts are all from defont.com. I will link it down below. And my favorite font is Babus New. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I hope I am. And I just mess with the font a little bit. I do this a lot, so I sped it up for you guys. And I really like this thing on Beauty and the Beast. It has these like little three lines, and if you press the bracket, it will do that for you. So just a little tip for you guys. Also, I like to make it all white, and then I put a drop shadow of 100% intensity, and it looks really cool like that. Then I go to overlays and here I get squares to put behind the letters so you can like see them better and they just stand out more and I just duplicate these and I pick the color of my choice. Um, this always like varies with again like the lighting, the quality, like what the video is about and all of that stuff. Then I put the squares, the rectangles behind the text so that you can see the text obviously. And then I like to 
make it exactly how I want it, closer to the letters, farther away from the letters, you know, whatever I want at that thumbnail. The next thing that I like to do is I like to make or put emojis on the screen or um, other PNGs. Like if you guys will see in a little bit, I use a PicMonkey PNG. All you need to do to get a PNG is look up whatever you want um, the PNG to be and then put PNG behind it and it will give you a PNG logo, PNG um, jeans, I don't know, whatever you guys want. It will be PNG just to make sure that it is PNG make sure it has a checkerboard behind it and just save the photo and put it on I like to slant my emojis or my PNGs and that works really well for me and guys just a tip I will also link this down below but go to st emoji stickers and that's how I get all of my emojis I just save the photo straight from there and then I put them in my emoji folder Then, once you're done with everything, you want to press Command Shift 4, again a screenshot, and go over your whole thumbnail. This is how I like cheat the system. Um, I don't have to pay for PicMonkey because I do this. It's kind of bad. Um, but if you want PicMonkey for free, do that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like it if you did. Subscribe my channel and comment down below. Comment um, if you guys want more editing videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!